You're welcome to the University of Abuja. You are about to watch a special video spotlight of Professor Michael Adiku's two years in office. Happy viewing! The vision that necessitated the establishment of Uni Abuja was to institute a university system that can compete favorably locally and internationally. A university that will interpret the unity of our multicultural and ethnic diversity to the international community. The sighting of this citadel of learning in the Federal Capital Territory was very strategic as it provides opportunities to both undergraduate and postgraduate diploma applicants to improve themselves academically. For over 19 years of existence, the University of Abuja has suffered several setbacks, most of which has the capacity to stampede the vision of the Founding Fathers. The coming on board of Professor Michael U. Adiku brought life and relief to the entire university community. Professor Michael Adiku was appointed by the Council in June 30th, 2014, on the recommendation of the Council Selection Panel. Today marks the second year anniversary of the tenure of Professor Michael Umale Adiku as the Vice Chancellor, University of Abuja, in Federal Capital Territory of Nigeria. Consequently, the emergence of Adiku in the management of the university then effectively eclipsed the tenure of the former Vice Chancellor, Professor James Adelabu. During the first year anniversary of this administration, the media were taking round on inspection tours of facilities being put in place. Today, those constructions are either completed or at an advanced stage of completion. For the purpose of clarity and better appreciation of the progress recorded in the past two years, we shall briefly highlight these achievements in the following subheadings. Infrastructural development, stable academic calendar, staff welfare, regular inaugural lectures, industrial harmony, improved corporate external relations, improved ICT presence, laurels and current challenges. Infrastructural developments. Several held its combined convocation ceremony under Adiku's administration. From 2004 up to 2014, there was no accreditation here, except in, in, in uh, agri, vet, medicine and engineering. And apart from agri that was accredited, the other ones had no accreditation. So students were always rioting. When I came here, a student introduced himself as uh, being a 900 level student. And I asked him, are you doing PhD? He said, no, engineering. And I said, ah, 900 level. I called the dean, what's happening? The dean said, you know, uh, Korea won't allow. I said, Korea. After all, I heard that these students have been farmed out. Go and graduate them. That's how we, are, we graduated three sets of engineering students. You see, some of these things, they are not space science. These are little, little things people are supposed to be doing. And they keep causing crisis for the system. At the moment now, we've, we don't have any accreditation problem with engineering. Okay. We don't have with uh, VET. We also, VET, they also graduated three. It's medicine we are looking at now. Uh, in the next six months or so, seven months, we should be bringing them back to do the final accreditation. That will enable them to graduate. Law was not having accreditation before I came. On the terms that we were over admitting. But now last year, last because we admitted last year, we didn't admit current year because our accreditation was removed. They said they didn't have a moot court. And there was staff common room or something they talked about. Okay. We are building them now. If you go to the faculty of law now, we shouldn't be calling them for accreditation. But the major problem they told us was that law was taking 450 students when they should only take 100 students. So now we take between 100 and 120 because of attrition. Some people will fail out. So I don't think we have problem with law. Staff welfare and trainings. The university under Adiku's watch has never wavered in ensuring staff welfare 
and trainings, both local and overseas. Land are already apportioned for building of staff quarters and staff houses. Payment of staff salaries and accruing benefits have remained consistent, even the entitlement of bereaved widows and widowers. Promotion, we are doing that very regularly. Many of our teachers and other staff, they are getting their promotions as at when due. The basic things we are supposed to do, we are doing them. Uh, before I came here, if you look at our salary wage, look at the salary table, so many people have been here for a long time, either adjunct or visiting. And in fact, they don't come to renew. And you keep paying them for years. Say so that is not right. So many of those names have been thrown out. Yes. So we are sort of cleaning. I must tell you that I didn't meet a very smooth environment. But we have tried to clean as much as we can. Regular inaugural lectures. The university inaugural lectures has been steady in Professor Adiku's administration. Precisely, 10 inaugural lectures have been held in his tenure, out of a total of 20 inaugural lectures held by the university since the institution was established. We must learn to be innovative. That is what is lacking in our system. So those inaugural lectures are part and parcel of the normal life of a university. They are not things people should talk about. We've only, we are only trying to streamline. If you produce professors and they are not giving inaugural lectures, what would they be giving? That's when you come and tell the public how you became a professor. I think we are only trying to revive the, the normal life, academic life in this environment. It's not something that one needs to brag about. Industrial harmony. The staff management relations is at the best level with regular interactions and exchanges of ideas between the university and the workers under the umbrella of ASU, SANU, and NASU. I had some mission statement when I came. I work on them very seriously. Most we are already achieving. Most we have achieved. Regular promotion of staff. Staff training is going on as far as we can. Last year, we didn't get more than 26 million for appropriate years. That's it. And you find that we are owing a lot of contractors here and there. So it has been quite challenging. But what we have tried to do is to look at the mechanism of doing things. In the university system, you must look very hard to see some of the hidden things. That's what we have been doing. Strengthening out governance issues. Our center, of, uh, center for Distance Learning has been crisis for long. We are trying to straighten out that way. It's one of the areas that has given us bad publicity. Improved ICT presence. The 21st century education system is technology driven. In the light of this, the administration of Professor Michael Adiku is working assiduously to improve on the ICT facilities within the two campuses. Yesterday in the scene, somebody made a comment. He went to the university in the U.S. and then went to their bookshop. And all he saw were T-shirts. I expected to see books here. The man said everything has gone digital. When you see a student carrying a phone, if he has internet on it, there's nothing he cannot browse on it. He can read a lot of things there. So what we are doing like in our library now, we want to put all the work we have done here, undergraduate, postgraduate, on the internet. Our inaugural lectures on the internet. That is how to make us to be ICT compliant. Our payment system now, you know, is through the internet. So we are working very hard on that. The years are hurt. One of the major challenges of the university at the moment is poor funding. Based on this, the Vice Chancellor is poised on tackling these challenges by deploying constructive and innovative funding generating activities and programs to ease the pressure of lack of funding. But this is an academic environment. I just returned from the Faculty of Arts and I told them if we keep depending on government for everything in this university, it will come to a time where we have to sing non dimitis. I think it's a Catholic word for the song for the dead. We must learn to be innovative. Create university industry linkage, where you can see some money coming from the industry to challenge our universities to do research. 
I want a very strong research environment where people are focused, where we are not dependent on government all the time. That's the type of environment I'm looking at. Thanks for viewing.